Welcome to Root Stem Gaming. In this game today, we've got a 2,000 point kind of a city fight. We're in the midst of a campaign at the moment run by uh, one of the other players that you've seen on this channel, Ben Hawley. Um, we're playing in a city, but we're not using city fight rules. Apart from if you're within a ruin, you get a two up save. Um, yeah, plus two to plus your cover two. save. Sorry, plus two to your cover save. But you're not having the minus ones or anything like we've had in previous city fight games, which I do like that. But anyway. We're playing Vital Intelligence, uh, which is page 48, I think, from Chapter Approved, yes. 2018. And the objectives are as follows. One in the middle, and then one kind of in each really quarter. At the end of a battle round, we roll a d6 to see which one is going to score all the VPs. So being second in this particular mission, because we have played it before, actually does have a benefit for you. I'll be deploying first with my Eldar. Uh, against Mills' Thousand Sons. But the armies we've taken might surprise you. Right, let's get over to uh, what we're going to be fielding. So guys, this is a 2,000 point, pretty much pure Aspect Warrior <laughs> army. Um, we've got about four HQs in total. I'm running a battalion, a spearhead, and... Yeah, one of those with fast attack and one of those with elites. Vanguard, I think it's spearhead, I'm not sure. But I've got four characters. We've got Azraman. Custom made and Jane Zar, custom made. And then we've also got Karandras and Malgan Ra. Um, Azraman's going to be my warlord, but because he's the warlord, I'm not allowed to take a warlord trait. So basically, it's just he, he's, he, he's a warlord by name. Um, they're going to be backed up by two units of Dark Reapers, uh, one with a rocket launcher, one with a um, Shuriken catapult. We've got a Warp Hunter from Forge World, unit of Dire Avengers with a Shimmer Shield. Unit of six Howling Banshees. Yes, that's a really old figure that I actually still need to paint up and I do need to repair the damage on those because they're fine cast and they bend and it's not great. I've got a unit of Metal Banshees. A squad of eight, again, with a uh, squad leader with Executioner. Both have got Executioners. Fire Dragon Squad, one with a Fire Pike, six men. We've got another unit of Dire Avengers. This one has just got Dire Sword and uh, Pistol. Another unit of Dire Avengers, again with a Dire Sword and a Pistol. A unit of six Striking Scorpions. And then we've got two Falcons. One with a Star Cannon and one with two uh, Shuriken Catapults. Now, because we are playing a campaign game, uh, which is Ben's campaign, I am defending what's known as an unoccupied un location. So that basically means that in the campaign you do get benefits i am not getting benefits but i do get a benefit for defending the location which is this a lovely bastion so yes the elder are going to be holding out with a free of charge bastion so that's going to be 200 points worth of uh, defenses sometimes it helps and sometimes it doesn't because it all depends this army's not been made to sit still <laughs> it's mainly been made to move forward but that's the Eldar. All right, let's take you to some Thousand Sons. Right. Hey, Mills, back on the channel. He's one of my favourite guys to play against, if I'm being honest, because it's always a laugh. Right. <laughs> it's always argumentative, but it's always a laugh as well. So you've got uh, 2,000 points worth of Thousand Sons. Do you well, want to run through and sir? Ah, yes. a little bit more because yeah. of the benefits of the yeah. campaign. So my benefits is I get plus one leadership for my army. Yep. Yeah. I get... Additional wounds on a vehicle, which I only have a predator. Yep. And I also have additional points for troop choices, which yeah. can easily be manipulated. Basically, I've got more points in my more army. More points in his army. How many points? Is it an extra 100, isn't it? Or is I it... think it's an extra 100, yeah. 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 And he gets uh, an extra three wounds on his tank. Yeah. Um, right then, sir. So I have a battalion, yep. a spearhead, yep. and a vanguard. Okay. My battalion consists of two demon princes. Yep. Um, ten tons of Zango <laughs> with nothing on, not even a Brayhorn, because no point. I've determined that they are quite rubbish, but did realise <laughs> I was reading one of the rules wrong. They do actually gain an extra attack for wielding Zango blades, so oh, two attacks right, apiece yeah. rather than one. Okay, but two nine-man Rubric Marine squads. Yep, that's my battalion. And then I've got yeah, no, nothing special, just. Bolters. Yeah, just bolters and a force axe. Have you got a banner with it as well? Yeah, they, they do have icons of yeah, flame. Yeah, yeah. Um, I have Arriman, he's my warlord, he's yeah. part of my uh, vanguard detachment. No problem. 
followed by three squads of seven Terminators each. Apologies, that's my fault that these are not painted. Also, these are Forge World, so some's got some has chain fists. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The leaders, the leaders have chain fists, uh, but they're not. The it's it's staves for sergeants in forty k, and it's swords. It's a fisty for, stave. Yeah, fisty stave. <laughs> fisty stave. <laughs> fisty stave the fisty for the stave. for the sergeants, and swords for yeah. the. Um, Rest yeah, of them. Four swords, isn't it? Is it? No. Is it just power swords? It's power swords on the normal guys. It's a force stave on the leaders. Right, yeah. So, so they, don't, they don't do, um, they don't do, do damage. multiple damage. They just do straight ones. No problem. Then my spearhead, yep. which is using Alpha Legion. Yep. Hence why they are painted like Thousand Suns. Yeah. <laughs> so I've got two squads of Havocs. Yeah. The, the idea is it's not actually Alpha Legion. They're just using... Manipulative psychic energies yeah. cause disruptions. Phantasmic auras. Yeah, that's basically the best way of us putting it. Um, so two squads of Avix, yep. all with rockets. Yep. Um, these two guys that sign with bolters don't actually have bolters because the sergeants in Havoc squads can't have bolters. <laughs> they have flamers as standard okay. and they can upgrade to a plasma or a melter. Oh, okay. So they're, they're actually flamers. Flamers as standard? I've never noticed that with a Havoc unit, actually. Yeah, it's... Yeah. It's stupid. Bam. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a standard sorcerer. Yep. And my that's a special tech. character from Forge World. If anyone's asking, it's just yeah, a, that's no rules um, for it. Yeah. I'm on. Yeah. For Thousand Sons. So he's a special like standard. Yeah. Thousand Sons Heresy is a badass. I yeah, prefer yeah, him yeah. over Harriman every time. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. In Heresy, yeah. In this, no Harriman. Harriman's a badass in oh, this. Oh yeah, Harriman's. He took out a knight by himself, didn't he? And a, time. and a smash captain. And a smash captain. Yeah, that was pretty good. That <laughs> yeah, well, I'm gonna take him on. I'm toughness five. Don't bother. <laughs> yeah. Whoop. He's gone. And of course, he's got your Laz Cannon. Pre Laz Cannon Auto Cannon Predator. Yep. That's it. Yeah, which is, is he needs kind of needs to set those because he's got uh, no real heavy support. Harriman has to be warlord. Yeah. Um, so he has plus one to his saving th uh, to his invulnerable save. So yeah. So he's packing a three up invul and two no up armor. Um, Relic, I think I'm gonna end up taking Helm of the Third Eye. Okay. Uh, I'll give that another. Uh, I'll give that a second go, seeing as it works so. Fantastic the first time I used it and didn't roll a single five to claim any. No, no. Come on, points. No. So I'll try it a second time. Yeah. Other than that, there's just psychic powers, which, if you want to know, ah, if you've got half an hour of recording. Right, hang on then. I have. Ariman has got Gift of Chaos, yep. Death Hex, and Infernal Gaze. Okay. The Demon Prince that looks like he's charging. Yep. Has diabolic strength and warp time. Okay. The one that's casually strolling has boon of change and gaze of fate. Yep. The sorcerer has prescience. Yep. The rubric marine squad, who's like pointing forward, like charging, yep. has doom bolt. Yep. The one behind him has Zeech's firestorm. Okay. <laughs> the. I'm not taking any Tartarus. Answer. Style Terminators yep. have Glamour of Zeech. Okay. And the two squads of Cataphract Terminators so, yeah, yeah. have Temporal Manipulation. All right, okay. So one of them is going to get that off, the other one might not do. It, which then, is why I picked for both what's squads. What's he got then, sir? He's got uh, Prescience. So Prescience. That. Right, okay. So a hell of a lot of psychic powers versus an Elder Army with no psychic ability. Yeah, that's the uh, worrying side. Yeah. <laughs> because it's like... I expected quite a bit of denial <laughs> going on, and it's, uh, it's it's not happening. No, it's a it's a very different army to what I think uh, Craig expected here. Yes, yeah, it is very different. Yeah, very different. It's very did, elite. I didn't expect. Four. It's very elite though, and I do. I am a bit worried now that I've got it on the tabletop. I didn't expect four Phoenix Lords, but it's all right. Bolters can bring them down. Bolters can bring them down. The minus two on those bolters will hurt anyway, and they're only toughness four. Yes. So. Oh, the toughness four. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad, yeah, I've, I'm glad yeah. I've brought uh, Gift of Chaos. Then. Yeah, we're on the toughness four. Right. Let's get set up. I'll be setting up first. Uh, we've got Dawn of War deployment, and then uh, Mills will be setting up second. And of course, means that I'll be getting first turn unless Mills can seize. We'll bring you into that dice roll. Right. We've got deployed 
down upon Craig's right flank we've got a demon we've got some Havocs and some men we've got Terminators and Zangor nice big chunk in the middle uh, Azraman right there look with some unpainted Terminators Arriman. does mean you've Arriman. got Azraman I've got Azraman you've got Azraman that's the correction of what happened earlier yep and then more demons they're all quite far back he's not wanting to get close to the Eldar he wants a good couple of turns I'm guessing of shooting there's a good chance well, that I'll be having first turn. So, I'm out of range. Yeah. So I need you. I'm, I'm banking on you getting first turn. So I'm going towards me. Yeah. Well, I've got two falcons down here. That falcon in particular has the fire dragons in it. The other falcon is empty. Jane Zar and her ladies uh, occupying this particular ruin. We've got Azraman. Oh, I remember. Azraman. Yeah, that's it. That's the one. With his Dire Avengers all surrounded in this building here, backed up by the uh, Warp Hunter. And then we've got Morgan Ra um, with his lads inside that bunker. And of course, we've got some lads behind the bunker as well. Um, the Scorpions with Coandras, they're going to be deploying <coughs> via Deep Strike. Right. So, I have first turn. I'm going to try it's and up to you if you want to try and seize. So, I'm going to try and seize. Oh, oh, even before though... you do that... Yeah. I am allowed, if I wish, to declare Phantasm, which means I can move up to three units. Do you wish to? Hmm, just having a look now. I'll be honest with you, I don't think I'm going to. I think what I've got here is sufficient and will work. Yep, that's fine. Go on in, sir. Do you want to try and... So that's a no for the Cs. And then, because I'm now getting first turn, I roll a d6 to see which objective is worth two in the first battle round. It's a four. There's two there. Five. Five. What's in the middle? It's over one. there, sir. It's that one there. That is the one that's worth two. Everything else is at the, worth one. At the one. end of the game turn. I believe or so, yes. We'll double check it, but I believe it's at the end of the actual turn. That will be worth two VPs, and everything else will be worth one. Right, let's go into Eldar turn one, or as Aladari, or whatever the games we actually want to call them nowadays. So movement wise, all that lots run forward, we've got a hell of a lot of sixes, um, so all the Dire Avengers managed to get into, I know that's touching, but that's because of Wobbly Model Syndrome, um, so they're all in that piece of terrain there, the Banshees managed to hurtle across this section, moving up towards objective number one, and then the tanks just shimmied forward a little bit, I know I've actually run forward and that's what Mills needs me to do, to try and get within range of him, but I also need to get in range to map for my own weapons as well, so it's a catch 22. Right, these lads have also stayed in here, and well, I think I've got range to a lot of stuff, but we'll check that in a moment. I'm going to start by using the Warp Hunter, and that's going to fire indirect against your lads of Havocs, because I do need to try and murderize them. Now, it is a minus one to hit, because they are classed as Alpha Legion Psychic Power. There we are. So it's D3 shots, three shots. Normally needs threes, but needs fours. I've got two hits. Strength of ten. So it's two to wound. One wound. Not command pointing just yet. And it's a minus of four, but you're plus two for being in. So it's threes normally down to one. And minus of four. Um, it's just on one, isn't it? Yep. What are you shooting at? Seven, it'd be fives. Uh, the Havocs. The Havocs. Yeah. Nope, so one of those goes down. I'm guessing that uh, commander with a flamer has disappeared. Yep. <laughs> yeah. how, how did you know? How did I know? I could have command pointed that to try and kill two, but I, I think I might need to save them. Right. Right, we've done a bit of shooting already. This unit's gone. That unit that could actually have range has gone. And Malgan Ra has fired. And they have fired into the Zango. Uh, reduced them. Got rid of eight of those guys so far. Uh, the Dark Reapers now are going to open fire upon the Terminators with some Star Swarm missiles. They need freeze to hit. They're going to need freeze to wound. Oh, checking that, that's alright. I'm checking that dice over there. Thank you, sir. Yep, all wounded. It's a two damage, but because of the cover, it's minus two, I mean, it's plus two. So Mills is still going to be on a two up. None. All saved. Right. I think it's time to rinse repeat. 
So these guys are going to open fire at the same unit. The Mechanicus dice is for the X Shark. In freeze. Uh, X Shark is firing his crap rocket, so it's going to, he's going to need twos on that one. Oh no, that's pretty bad. Right, so that's two with twos, and I believe that's also a minus two as well. So it's all they're all going to be minus three. All saved. That's not good. I can't chew through these tank guys at the moment. I think I might have to fire some heavy bolters into Zangos. So the bunker I opened up with its heavy bolters actually took away the last of the Zango there. So that's a point for destroying a unit. Now we're going to have the Falcon. That's going to range of some Terminators. And this one's going to open fire. The Mechanicus dice will be for the Pulse Laser. Needing fours on that one. Rerolling ones on the whites because they're Shuriken weapons and Umbel Tan. It's not a bad lot of hits there. Toughness of your Terminators is four, isn't it? Not so. Yeah. Right, so that's two wounds from that one. That's right, this is going to get complicated. So, do you want to take the two wounds out of that one first? Well, They're minus three in the straight three damage. Minus three. Yep. Plus straight, two. Plus two, so it's going to be minus one, so you need threes. You've got one, a two. That kills one. That'll so kill one. Straight three damage, isn't it? It is. Now, this is where it gets weird on this because that one's going to be definitely a two. These are minus three, but it's plus in two damage, and it only causes one damage, so you're plus in one to your dice roll for them as well. So in actual fact, even though I got sixes, it didn't matter against those Terminators. Yeah, which is why I've gone for Terminators. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thinking it'll ignore you. Ignore shuriken. a lot, my shuriken. Got a wound, though. No, but only a wound. Not enough to bring one down. Right, let's see what this lad can do. So the Falcon's opening fire. It does have crystal targeting matrix, which I completely forgot with that one, but it didn't matter. So it's going to be two shots with one weapon, two shots with another. And it's against the closest enemy unit, so there's no minuses to hit on these. So the Mechanicus dice will again be the pulse laser. I'll roll them over here for ease. Threes to hit. Two missed on both. Uh, so that needs a three, that needs a two. So only one that's gone through, which is the pulse laser, that's a minus a three. And he saved it. It's going to be quite difficult to bring down these Terminators in a city-like condition. I don't think I've got much else that can now fire. That's fired indirect. These people have gone forward. Right now, I do have, with my Banshees, a charge of up to 15 inches. So we will go into the assault phase. We'll just have a look and pre-measure some stuff. See if there's going to be any charging. But if not, we'll be coming into Mills' turn. Right, um, no actual fact, that, uh, I was within 14, I rolled my dice and I managed to get an 8 plus the 3, so that's going to be 11, so I didn't manage to charge off, but you can't overwatch, so you might as well have a go with Banshees. Right then, so we're now going to go into Craig's turn 1. Mills has done his turn, we've had a couple of, we've got a boon of change over there, a couple of psychic powers have been cast, prescience on these guys to make them plus 1 to hit. Uh, warp timed the termies, so they moved. Uh, they've moved a mighty eight inches. Yep. Because I've got to move four. Um, some psychic shenanigans gone, but both failed uh, to roll their smites. A couple of smites down here managed to get rid of a couple of the um, this, from this unit, and then I think he did a, another psychic power that got rid of a guy from down here. But not, not an overly immense psychic phase this no, particular I, I time. Failed a lot of powers, didn't it? Did surprisingly. Surprisingly, especially with it being add six inch and no longer plus one, so it's a bit of a difference now. That plus one's normally quite handy. All right then, sir, um, it's going to be shooting. What are you shooting with first? I'm going to go with predator first. Predator first against? I'm going to use a command point. Yep. Which means I do not suffer the effects of moving. Wow. That is blasphemous machines. Yep. So I suffer no penalties for moving and firing heavy weapons or for advancing and firing assault weapons. Right, okay. And you're targeting? Uh, the, is it Falcon? There's two Falcons here. Uh, that one's not going to get cover, so I'm going to go into that. You're going to go into that one. Right, you go. So it's he's shooting into the one without. He's got two last cannons and he's got his auto cannon. Are you firing all of them into the same unit? Yeah, right? I'm going to fire everything into it, which is no problem. 2D3, I think, and two last cannons. Yep. So two D3 shots. We do have D3 dice, by the way, guys. Um, just because I forgot to explain. So one to three, one to three on six sides. So you've got so two shots. The blue will be the auto cannons. Yep. Wow. Nothing. 
Good. Doing well so far. Right, come on, point. Do you get it back? Uh, it's not mine. I get it... it from yours. Ah, oh, right. I did so... cast one. So do you want to did try you... and get... Yes, I did. So if you want to try and have a... I did use one. I did. Yay! So that didn't actually cost you any command points. There you go, sir. But that so, means yeah, it's... that's your one you've got back for this battle round. Yeah, I don't get it for me own. I get it for your own. You using command points. Next unit. Back out now. Next unit. These Havocs. Yes. These targeting. These are going to go into your Warp Hunter. Can they see it? Yes. You will get a save. Okay. But they can see your warp hunter. Go on then, sir. Havocs can move and fire with no penalty. And they're now toughness five as well, surprisingly. We've got all, all hits. Eight. Toughness of seven on a warp hunter. Strength eight. Yep. And you freeze. Two. So the warp hunter is, is in cover, which is a plus one. And it is a minus two. So basically it's gonna be a minus one to the warp hunter needing fours. So one saved, one gone through. D6 damage for free. And then spirit stones, because who doesn't take spirit stones on any of the vehicles? None. So three do go through, reducing that down to nine. So the prescience Havocs can see the warp hunter as well. All three tanks are in cover from their vantage point. So it's going to be twos to hit this time. All hit. Didn't even need the psychic power there, sir. No. Change them again. Change them again. It worked okay. so well last time. <laughs> Two. Two again. <coughs> Bounced off the ricochet around the windows. Uh, what unit are you going to go with next, then, sir? Shooting, then. Yep. So they moved, so yep. they're only going to get one shot at long range. Yep. So it's going to be nine shots. Yep. Into them. To, uh, so nine shots then into the Dire Avengers. Which which Dire Avengers though? Will that make a difference? No, well, they've suffered range. two casualties. They've suffered none. So the so nine, fire into them. nine into the one which you've suffered casualties for. Yep. In freeze. And then freeze again. So you've got five. That's a pretty good roll. Five. Plus two for the cover, minus two for the infernal bolts that they carry, which is actually quite a harsh roll, in my personal opinion. <laughs> Shuriken. Oh! Shuriken is a two down. Rule. Two down. Oh, look at them two I stood there. Right, so yeah. they've lost four so far. The movement marines at the back are now targeting four in the range of the Banshees, the larger squad. They have cast lightning fast reactions, so they're going to be minus one to hit. So you're going to need fours here, sir. Hmm. So I've only saved myself one wound out of that. Two wounds. Minus two plus two. Oh, two saves. Surprise. Not bad, is it? Nothing, not bad. Not bad at all. What's coming next then? This is going to work. <laughs> uh, that guy's out. Oh, definitely. That guy's out. He's measuring. He's measuring. Uh, so Terminators have checked range. Two guys can only see these, the red hairs. And then three guys are going to be firing at the black haired one. Now these do get four shots apiece. Because uh, they are Terminators. So with the, the bolt of Red into the smaller unit. Yep. Then. Need him freeze. Very good there, sir. Need him freeze again. Oh, that's very painful. That's very so painful. Got, I know the blue doesn't coach show up on the um, <coughs> finger very well. So you've got three on smaller, yep. and then eight on the bigger unit. <coughs> All right. Bit of a confusion there. The three red ones are against the larger squad with the red hair. The eight are against the ones with the black. So it looks like I might be losing a unit here. Right. So, they're against the red. Oof. So another five of those have gone, and three of a bigger squad has gone. That's not looking good. It's going to leave me... Ooh. Second Terminator squad, two guys are going to fire into the remaining two. And then the other, how many? Five. Five men are going to fire into these. I think that this Please. bolt rule is, is unfair. <laughs> Until I play with my crimson fists. Um, this is... Got, I think I'm going to lose... A lot of Dire Avengers here, personally. Need to freeze. 
That was a hit, yeah. We know that was a hit. That's okay. Not bad, not bad. Freeze again. Any chance of me going to ground? <laughs> That's a miss. That's not too bad, actually. I thought I was going to be worse. So, you've got so three. the three against the black hats, and then... Another eight against Oof. your bigger Red. unit. So the smaller squad survives, which is annoying, <laughs> but I lose three, six, seven out of the others. Right, they're down. I've got two left out of one 10 man squad, and I've got a. a <laughs> I've got a Diary of Avenger X out with one wound left on the other squad. So, Fucked. he's now going to open fire now with these. These are going to open fire into. I'm sure? gonna fire three against each because they're oh, okay. not, they're in open and they're in open. All right, no problem. Yep. So you're gonna fire three guys against each because he does have six left. So which colours for which then, sir? So we've got three red. Uh, we'll do shots from terminators. We'll do uh, banshees in blue. Banshees in blue. Banshees in blue. Go on then, sir. It's a good job we can't re-roll ones, isn't it? Uh, oh, you might be actually able to, because you might be within six hours, won't you? Oh, I am. And I'm within six redeeming points. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I can re-roll ones if there's Shouldn't any more. Shouldn't have opened my mouth. I, w I was going to check it. Twos? No. One, two. This might hurt. Blue is banshees. Blue, banshees have been blue. This is going to hurt a lot. Five. So you've got nine against your banshees. So I think they're going to be removed. And then you've got seven against your Dire Avengers. Okay. So nine against the six, five banshees. It's a minus two. This is going to be sixes. So that's... Yeah. Well, that's four... And two, so that's six in total. There's five models left, one with two wounds. So that's that squad gone. And how many against the Dire Avengers, sir? Seven. Now, because they're within six inch of Azraman, they're on a four up invulnerable save. Yep. It saves three of them, but I do lose another four. Oof. These Terminator army I'm coming across, this is murdering me. So, very devastating shooting from these Terminators. I could barely bring any of the Terminators down due to the plus two. But they've really, oh. really hammered me. Uh, shoot yep. Shoot. And then, it's, we're going to go into a charge phase. Because I've got a funny feeling there's going to be some charging going off here. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. Assault. Right. Craig's gone in. Uh, didn't suffer any casualties to Overwatch. I've cast Lightning Fast. I keep saying cast. It's played. Cast uh, lightning fast reactions again on this unit, and it, it was a little bit of a who goes first, but I count as charging, he counts as charging, so technically he will go first. But if he's if he charges multiple orders, he'd have to pick, and then I'd be able to pick my banshees. So he's gonna be a minus two to hit, so you're gonna need fives. And I'm guessing the uh, finger one is for staves, yeah. It's freeze to wounds, so. but. Two, we're minus three. Yep. That one's a two to wound because it's plus two strength. And that's a minus one. Um, so against that one, that's saved. But them two, I don't get a save against. So that will kill two of the Banshees. And then fighting back. Oh, camera. So two Banshees I've got down. And then these will be attacked back. The Mechanicus dice will be for the X-Shark. Need to freeze. Drop dice never counts. Good as what you needed. No, no, no. I do need fives and four on the Mechanicus dice. Right, so we'll resolve them first. That's going to be four wounds with a minus of three, but they only cause one damage. So, what's your invulnerable save, sir? Five up. Which will be a plus one because it's only one damage. 
So, so that's four of the but dice. that one is D3 damage with a minus three. Yeah, so I need fives yeah. on that. Fives, fives on yep. this. Fives on his red. One wound. <laughs> one wound. It does kill a Terminator because he did have a wound on it, but that's it. Just one wound. It's not looking good on the first turn. I've lost a hell of a lot of Elder Infantry, and Eldar can't really sustain losing a lot of infantry. You've got your fire dragons. i got my fire dragons, yes I do. And your scorpions. Scorpions will be turning up this turn with Karandras. Oh. Oof. Bad, bad turn for me. Right, uh, let's total up the VPs. So, I control this one. Um, so I get a point. I've already scored a point already for killing the unit. You or you. Uh, I scored corner. the other one in that corner, so I score two. So currently, I will be on three VPs. Mills, yeah. on the other hand, because of his brother of the Psychers, scores one, one for that one. Two, three, And he four. scores two for that one because that's the one we rolled, and he scored one for that one. So that means that you will be on five, and I will be on three. Right, because I'm the one that rolled, yeah. I have to roll again, so let's find out what objective it is. It's two, two. So which is the one that's here. So as long as I can hold on to that, which I should be able to, would being you, in the bunker. Would your bunker count it? Bunker doesn't count it, but the units, if I'm if I'm inside the bunker... Well, that's, then, that's what I meant. Yeah. Would, would they be able to claim it, or would you need yeah. to use these or one of these to move? No, I would say because it. I think that doesn't become, once you're inside it, I think it becomes part of your army. I, I, don't, don't, know, I don't know, I don't know. But if he's, not, I'll just have to get somebody to stand outside. He's been vague <laughs> on his campaign rules. He has, yes. Our friend Ben has been very vague. Right, I'll take that lightning fast reactions off, take this run counter off. Oh, Let's see what I can do. Right, some movement happens. Some fire dragons run up. Some tanks move about. Some falling back banshees, some Jains are waiting to see what happens. Some Karandras and his scorpions turning up. And then some lads sitting still. And possibly trying to use maybe the minus threes rather than the minus twos to try and take out some of these terminators. And then maybe some of these havocs as well. Right. So first off. I have no idea what I'm going with. <laughs> In fact, no, no, I do, because uh, he's closest with being the Demon Prince, so the bunker is going to open fire at the Demon Prince. <laughs> I've done that first. Right, we're just going to go down the line, as it were. Fire Dragon's firing first upon that Demon. I know he's going to get 5-4 pin run, is it? Four, yeah. So I need threes to hit. Not bad. Toughness is seven. seven, so I need three oh, no, to no, wound. No, no, sorry, I think it's but toughness he's... six, strength seven. All right, either or, I still need threes. Yeah, toughness six. So all of them hit, all of them, them four have wounded. These are melter guns. Ooh, two's got through, any command points? Yeah, he's using a command point for one of the dice. Uh, go on, so one's got well through enough. regardless. Two still got through. So, Mechanicus and Fingy together. And then pick the highest. So that's a six. I'll command point that. Well, oh, yeah. Yeah, because that's the same, and that's just a two. So that's eight wounds off him. In fact, I think that's dead, isn't it? Yeah, he's only got eight. Yep, so he's gone down. Uh, I think he explodes. Uh, probably not, mate. But no, it doesn't. So, Means I've got a Craig has actually used flesh change, a swine, and he's turning that thing into a spawn. Yeah. <laughs> well, you get, yeah, to, use, I get to use nice. He gets to use his nice spawn model. It's got to be within six. Within six, 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 more than an inch away from enemy models because you can't be within an inch unless you've charged. I can't yeah. shoot, so. There you go. In fact, is I can't charge. So, right, 
We're going to go with this falcon. He's got some shuriken catapults, which will go into the freshly spawned spawn. <laughs> and the, uh, the big guns will go into your pred, which will not be in cover from that angle. No. Right, so the big guns first. That Mechanicus dice is the uh, pulse laser. I have moved, and you are not the closest unit. So therefore, I need fours. Not bad. I need fives on the white, threes on the uh, Mechanicus. <laughs> Nothing. Bounced off. And then the Shuriken. Four shots, re-rolling any ones. All three hit, because this is just a assault weapon. And what's your toughness, sir? Five on a spawn. Ah, so it's just one with a minus of three. So I think that's just going to be a it's wound, isn't it? How many wounds does it have? Four. Four, so he's now down to three. Do you want to use a D4? So, next on. Second Falcon, the bright, the pulse laser again into the tank. The shuriken cannon, uh, catapults, sorry, cannons, into the spawn! <laughs> the unit you got for free. So, nothing hit because I need fours. Reroll the ones on the shuriken. I'm not doing very well here, sir. I'm not doing very well at all. They're into spawn. Though. They're into spawn, though. He's needing fours because it's strength six. Two so, another wounds. two straight wounds and one save, sir. So it's a, oh, it's a one in three chance, as it were, for, to survive. <sighs> no, any command points? No, no, he's, he's, no. he's done a right he's done, job. He's done a, he's done a job, he's done a job, he's got rid of he's, some. He's soaked up your firepower from <laughs> yes. your vehicle, so he's, he's done a right job. I'm going to keep him out, though, if I want to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> right, Jen Zah is now going to uh, use some power, uh, some shooty shooty. So I've just done her shooting off camera, did nothing. This guy now, D6 auto hits on these, plus the shuriken um, cannon. That's going to also fire. It'll also fire into the terminators. So that's for how many shots, and then this is for rolling to hit. <laughs> About right. We all that because we all ones. So they've oh, hit and wounded, and I've already, I've already hit you? once. Yeah, I have. So, they're at a minus three, but because only one damage, it's still going to be two ups. That is a minus four. Yeah. And it does D6 damage, so it does be invulnerable. Kills. So, yeah, because you've already got... Oh, no, it doesn't, because you haven't got any wounds on the unit so far. D6 damage, three. Oh, right. Could have rolled the one there, which would have been normal for how my game is going so far. Uh, <laughs> so, just one of those dies to the Warp Hunter. Right, so the Scorpions are going to open fire now. We're going to fire against the Alpha Legionnaires. <laughs> Which are within 12 and they're in cover. So I don't, there's no minuses to hit, but there is a plus one. So these guys need twos. And because I'm Bell Tan, I re-roll ones. Thank you, sir. But I do need fives to wound. Mm -hmm. Two sixes, that's a minus of three. So plus in two, minus in the one. So one goes down. Save one, one dies. And then I think I'll fire. I'll see what they're going to range. Right, so I'm doing a, a unit. I'm doing these two units all together. So the band, the this guy, I did lose his head. It's on his base. I've got some glue. I'll sort it out later. Uh, the X shark and the two guys are within twelve of them, so they're not got a minus, but he isn't. So he gets a minus of, of one. So he's going to need fours, they're going to need threes. I'm going to add their two shots to it as well, giving me lots of dice. And then I get to reroll ones, simply because it's spell tan. Back needing fours. Uh, not too bad. Again, no fives and sixes to wound. Another two sixes. So he's going to need fours to save, plus two minus three. Ooh, another two go down. He's used a command point already this phase. Let's see what Grandras can do. Right, Grandras is going to open fire. Two shots into the Terminators. Needing twos. Needing fours. Nothing. That was very, very anticlimactic. Okay. Malgan Ra. Can they... Can you... Malgan Ra, then. I'm going to do his shooting attacks. I am allowed to do them one at a time. So his first lot is going to go into the guy that stood on the ridge of the roof. Now, because he's Malgan Ra, he always hits on twos. Three hits, strength six, 
Right, so that didn't do anything. There's minus one to that, but a plus two. So he's still going to need twos to save, which he does unfortunately get. So he'll fire the second lot at the same target just to try and remove it. Otherwise, he'd have fired elsewhere. Never mind. Two sixes this time, so that's a minus of three. So basically, you're on fours, mate. No. Manages to take him out. So, his buddies. So his buddies, these guys here, I'm going to check ranges. All right, so the unit with Malgan Ra is going to fire Star Swarm missiles into the opposing heavy weapon team. And the rocket launcher from the character is going to fire into that guy there, being the closest. Yep. So that's Mechanicus Dice. Now that can re-roll a one because of um, the extract trait, which he still missed, so it doesn't really matter. In fact, that was a very poor shooting. Hmm. Only 50-50 hits, force to wound, strength five versus toughness five. Only one, minus two, plus two. Doesn't do anything. That was very anticlimactic. Very anticlimactic. Indeed. Right, these guys down here. That's got range to some of these lads over here. So they're going to fire three rockets into the Terminators. We're going to be doing the strength eight, minus three variety. Is it minus three? I'll just check. No, it's still a minus two. So I might as well do the Star Swarm missiles again. And he's going to be saving on twos. Face to wound. Four wounds on the Terminators. Not one, one. Anything else would have been two dead. But because of the rules that we're currently using, he's alive. Not as cracking as a turn as I thought. I did manage to get rid of a yeah, Demon yeah. Prince. Did manage to get rid of a unit of devs, as it were. Yeah, I know uh, we're not Devastators, but... Got rid of a Terminator. Got rid of a Terminator. Yeah, it's not going to be great. Right, charging then. Let's see what happens. So charging then. I did attempt to charge these Terminators with the tank. Lost two wounds for it. The tank managed to get into the infantry over there. The Karandras managed to get into these lads. The Striking Scorpions lost one but managed to get into combat with them. And of course Jane Zar got into combat with these guys here. Now Mills has got plenty of command points to interrupt. He can at least interrupt with one unit. Because of course it's a match point, match point game. So I'm going to go first with Karandras. So let's roll. Right. So we've just done the Mandy Blasters because we did kind of forget. One mortal, two mortal wounds on this unit here. One of them's gone down. Now Karandras is going to fight. He's got four attacks, needing twos. Mills is in cover, so it's plus in one. Any fives and sixes explode into extra attacks because, of course, the death of a thousand st stings. It's normally six. Plus in the one makes it fives and sixes. So another three, which means that he's hit six times. His strength is eight, so he needs twos to wound. That's... Five, minus three and D3 damage. Uh, so is this going to be in run, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Ooh. D3 damage each. Any command points to re-roll any of them, sir? Nah. No. First, First one, one. Kills, kills one. Second, Second one. one. Kills. kills. Third. Third one. Kills. kills. Fourth. Kills. kills. Five. Kills. Fucking hell. Sorry for swearing on camera there, but that is insane. Oof. Of course, a little consolidation. Into his fisty mace. <laughs> Sergeant, yes. are you into wanting to interrupt with any, sir? Oh, yes. I'd like to know the rules of these scorpions and Jane Zar. No problem. Right, so Mills is interrupted. He's going to go with this unit here. Uh, Jane Zar's disarming strike has managed to knock off one of the power swords, which he's going to use two of my white dice for. The other four power sword attacks is with the red, and the two mace attacks is with the blue. Minus one to hit, sir. So he's needing fours. Needing fours again, uh, unless it's uh, the mace. Safe is threes. Yep, yeah, so that's the blue one. Uh, missed. So you've got two. Two power swords, sword wounds. Uh, five ups. Yep. She saves one and suffers one wound. It's not really worth it. Not really worth it. No, probably not on that one, mate. Right, I'll just go with all my attacks. Right, we've done some consolidation, lost, a squ lost him, no wounds there. Only lost one there, and then the tank, unfortunately, because we did actually, we, we time warped, 
I went back in time. <laughs> Araman did was within three. I did actually mention that when I charged that that was going to happen. So we did go back. Araman managed to strip six wounds off the vehicle. The other lads didn't do anything, but that was quite devastating. But we've got a morale on this Terminator here. So he's lost six of his buddies. He's definitely running, unless you want a command point it, sir. No, no. If he no. dies like that, it means he's stood there doing nothing. Yep, that's true. So he's gone. It does mean our, it does mean Karandras now is going to be one of the closer units, and he is uh, stood there. He is classes in cover because, of course, we can't touch in. Hmm. So a bit of a counter punch. Managed to get rid of some Terminators. Not a lot. Not enough. I managed to get rid of one of the Demon Princes. Maybe wound him a little bit, but not a, not not too much to be able to uh, warrant a victory at the moment. So it's now going to be Mills' turn two. So Mills has done a bit of movement, this guy's shimmied up. Terminators are going after Karandras by the looks of it. Um, we've got some guys here that's rearranged and we've just done some icons of flames, caused a mortal wound, we're in the psychic phase. Normally I don't record the psychic phase, but I think it might be important this time. Yeah, <laughs> I, need, I need to do the um, uh, So what are you doing first, sir? Uh, I'm going to do this guy first. Yeah, what's he doing? The gaze of Fate. Okay, against... It's the plus serve. It gives oh, me a reroll. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it gives me yeah. a free reroll. So he's got a free reroll. Next power. Uh, boon of change on him. Yep. Yeah. Cast me an eight. Yep. Yeah. Excuse me, D3. D3. Plus one strength again. Yep, yeah, plus one strength. <laughs> That's actually pretty good though this time. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, Next. The squad that fell back. Yep. Yeah. Doombolt. Yeah, because they can actually use psychic powers. They can use psychic powers, but they can't do all else. So, Doombolt. Into fire dragons from the it's from the sorcerer, isn't it? It's yeah, not the squad, it's, it's 18, the sorcerer. 18 inch range, yeah, so it's yep. 24. Didn't cast because I need a nine. Need a nine on that one, didn't you? Um, prescience from sorcerer onto the devastators, yeah, or oh, havocs. I do want to go cast yeah. it on the tank, no? yeah, onto havocs, cast, yep. Yeah, just a reminder. And then, so he's actually doing better now we're recording. We actually did did it last time around off camera and he did poorly. So I think you've got them guys left, them guys left and Araman, haven't you? So Infernal Gaze from Ar Az Arriman. Araman. <laughs> Might be the same man, you never know. Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> Even with a plus one, that fails. I'll use the free reroll. Using the free reroll to reroll the one, obviously. The one, yeah. So that turns that to five, six, it's seven. Cast two. Three dice. Two dead. Two. Another two mortal wounds against the fire dragons. These terminators. Smite. Yep. Their baby smite. Five. five. It's the first one is cast, so it has got off. Means it's a mortal wound on Karandras. Yep. I'll sort that out in a second. Uh, the that unit, this squad. Yep. Going to Zeech's Firestorm, Grandras. Going to Zeech's Firestorm. What hell's that? Warp charge is seven. Yeah. I cast it. I roll nine dice, and on any sixes, it's a mortal wound. And you can do that against anybody, not just for closest unit. Yeah. Just se select an enemy unit that is within eighteen okay. inches of the psyche. Go on, then, sir. Nine. Nine. Radio. Nine dice. It's two. Two more mortal wounds on Grandros. So he's down to three wounds left. Roman casting the spike. This is the second smite, so he needs a six. He pluses one. Cast. So yep, cast. His D3. Is D3. Yep. Two. Against the tank. God. Did say what? So that's down now to five. Right. Havoc's opening fire, we've already fired some bolt pistols, lost two scorpions, and Araman fired his bolt pistol, did nothing. These guys, flamer against that, took up a wound, and then they're going against the V-Warp Hunter, which is in cover. All so hit. he needs, yep, because he did cast Prescience, so he needs twos, he needs threes. So two, any command points? No. Okay, so it's a minus of two for the rocket, plus one for the cover. I don't save any. Um, I think I will command point one of these though, because this is a very important vehicle. Nope. Down to two. Seven. Mm. 
<coughs> I did get one six, so I lost six wounds off that tank. That takes this one down to three. Predator opening up next. The cat Predator cannons going against the infantry. Five, Five shots. shots against the uh, fire dragons. You can freeze. Are you all in ones because they are running? No, you didn't uh, get any wounds. Yeah. Two's to wound. What's uh, the minus? Two minus one. Yep. And then they're minus three. Why are they minus three? Oh, Last cannons. Right, so you fired them all into. No, right. no, no. Last cannons. Oh, yeah. Into, into yeah, yeah. Tank. Right, so against Critic. the infantry. So you've got plus one to your save on that. Yep. Infantry. For Christ's sake. And then against the vehicle, it's a minus of three. I'm not in cover. Needing sixes. Got one. So 1d6 damage. Is a two. Do you want to come on point? Uh, no. Didn't save any, so that gets another reduced down to seven. Right, so for seven Terminators now, they're looking at Karandras. They're going to be opening up. They need freeze to hit, force to wound. You don't have any minuses to hit them? Uh, no, we're not on Karandras, mate, no. No. No captains or anybody uh, within. Sorcerers don't do bonuses. No, no, no. Not standard no. sorcerers, are they? Not as good as last time. No, we are near as good as last no, time. Oh, that was very, very, uh, dare I say, it, weak. Uh, I might have said it now, though, because it's forced to wound 50 50. Not too bad. Seven. Seven. No, we are near as good. I don't look. One. She's down to two. So. We've got no real, that's pretty much it for shooting. So we're going to be now going into close combat. So. Got their psychic power. Because they're oh. in combat. Oh dear. And they've only done smite. Yeah. All oh, right, would you? Uh, yeah. uh, uh, time warping again. Uh, time warping again. It's all right. One. Would that, no, because I've cast it twice. And I ah, yes. So twice, needed... once on. Hang on. So after time warp again. Um, we're just going to go to charge phase, so we're going to get some charges done, we're going to get some overwatch done off camera, and we'll bring you into the fight. Right, so Mills is now going to go with in the fact, Terminators first. In fact, hang on. Because I'm no longer in cover, so you don't get a plus one. No, because you've moved your guys out of cover, so I don't get a plus one. So you're, but you're still hitting on twos. Twos. Yeah. But you. Any sixes exploding to extra. Sixes it's rather sixes. than fives. Yeah, because I'm not plusing the one, so it'll be sixes rather than fives this time round. You use strength eight minus three d3 damage. Yeah. And what's he? As your man. It's five attacks, needing twos, strength five, minus three, d3 damage. Any sixes to wound is d3 mortal wounds. d3 mortal wounds? Yeah, he, he's, his sword is a bit annoying. <laughs> I do think it's minus. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's minus three. Oh, before any combat starts, two striking scorpions, no mortal wounds. Karandras. No mortal wounds. And Jane Zah will three plus. She disables one of the power swords because that's the only two people that's next to her. Um, so which one to throw away? Oh, we've got a minute of tension. <laughs> he had a really good turn last time. He Twos to wound, but he needs fives and sixes. He does. To wound me. I do. I'm going to go with Terminators. Terminators are going first. The so stave is in blue. Yep. Go on in, sir. You're going to need three to hit. Uh, I'm going to play Veterans at Long War. So he's going to come and point there. He's going to be wounding on threes rather than threes four. Threes on swords. Yep. And two's on. Stave. Oh yeah, because it's plus one to the wounding roll, not plus one to the strength. I think. Is that what it is? Yeah. It's plus one to the wounding roll. No problem. So ones fail. And they do. Two fail. So it normally needs fours and threes and pluses one to the wounding roll. That's the best way of putting it. Oh wow. Sonny. That's bad for me. Sonny, help me with one. It don't matter. It don't matter. That's really bad for me. We've got six five ups. 
And there's only two wounds left on poor Carandras. I think he might be going down to this Terminator. Yeah, he's gone. Because that, even though that's a save, that's one, two, at least three. I'm on a two plus on a minus. Yeah, two, two wounds. So, unfortunately, because of all the smitey, smitey shenanigans, he has gone down. So I'm using two. I am going to go with Azraman. So he needs twos. That way. Swap some dice. He needs four. He needs fives and sixes. <laughs> that way. Only one. Minus a three. Takes D3 damage. One. <laughs> I've done right well. <laughs> so you, sir, you then pick a charging unit. Uh, charging it down no, here. no. So it's, so it's got to be him. Him. So I'm guessing he's going to put all of his mighty attacks against Azrum. Well, yeah. Because yeah. he's got a two up save and he's minus two. And straight two damage. So, yeah. because it reduces him down to four up save, there's a good chance I'll probably save them all. Hmm? Well, not save them all, but there's a good chance I'll save at least half. And I need and just Mine's a three up in vulnerable save. Have you got three up in vulnerable? In combat. Three up in combat. Four against shooting, three up in combat for Azuma. If I'd have known that, I'd have cast Death Hex on him. Ah, right. I did, I did, I did, had... I did tell you. I've, I've, I, I've said three up in vulnerable. I thought, it, I thought that were your... No. I, I thought know. that's what he gave to your no. Dire Avengers. Right, uh, gives them a five up slash four up. In that case, then, I'm going to put... Three attacks against Azraman, yeah. and four attacks against the squad that is attached to him. Okay. Three roll in the one. All hit. Strength, because he's plus one, so yeah, it's needing twos on all of them, including against Azraman. Can't find that. Oh, yeah. But that's, hang on, you've confused me by changing it's, it's colour. It's a now. red, there's four reds. And that's and against the squad. Yeah, so I'll do that, that, that easier. Yeah, there we go. So you've got four against, four minus two on the squad. Yep. And three inbun, three inbun saves for Azraman. Yep. Right. So Azraman takes four wounds, and I lose one of the squad. Because they're also on a four up invulnerable save. Tasman's down to two. Right, and two of these have gone. Uh, and then still charging units. Mm -hmm. So in actual fact, it will be Jane's R. So Jane's R, two attack um, needing twos. And then threes. Rerolls failed wounds, which I forgot last time. You didn't need to bring them. Roll them. Oh Christ. You'd passed them all. No. Uh, one wound with a minus three. Yep. It's got through and D three damage. No, none of them are, mate. None of them. Are. She killed one straight out last time round. And then, so it's ongoing. So you get to pick one of the ongoing units first, which is probably going to be these yep. because it means you get to fight before my scorpions do. Yes. Right, uh, combat-wise, not really much else happens because we just did it off camera. Nothing really. I'll be honest. Uh, break test on the dyers. Nope, they're fine. Because, of course, I've got a leadership of nine, and I've got three ones left on that. Right. Over to Elder Turn 3. Points before I do that, actually. Let's think about it. So you claim two. So I claim two points for that, taking me up to five. And I claim one here and one in centre. I don't claim you. I claim that one, Volo, don't I? Number four. Oh, yeah. So I will go up to six, and then you claim five, and you claim one. So we're actually drawing six apiece. No, we're on five. Oh, you're on five, so you're on seven, sorry. So we're not doing too bad. Not doing too bad at all. <laughs> right, let's crack on. So a bit of Jimmy in. They've fallen back. Two black guys are still can be able to shoot. That's These are rearranged. <laughs> You've caught me off guard, you know. They've moved, that tank's moved up, it's only got um, three wounds left, so it's only going to move her eight. That tank stood still. They're uh, shifting. Uh, he's fallen back, but he can still shoot. And then, of course, the fire dragons have tried to get up to try and see what damage they can actually do up on stuff. Right. It's not going to be a lot of damage, I'll be honest. 
First off, I think I'm just going to sweep down the board. So I'm going to start with the really injured Falcon. It's got two shots on its main weapon, two shots on its star cannon. Into your Predator, sir. Needing sixes and then its um, shuriken catapults will fire at the infantry. So he's needing sixes, nothing. Four shots from the shuriken catapults, needing fives, re-rolling ones, three hits. Against your infantry, I need fours. One wound, which will be a two up regardless. No, oh, takes one down. On to the fire dragons. Fire dragons firing their melter weapons into the tank. Both hit. Both wounded. You're not in cover and it's a minus of four. You can't save it with minus four. Anyway. No. That's why I'm, I'm backing. So, what? So, an eight. eight. Same result. Pretty much, as last time. <laughs> Knocks me down to six wounds left. Six wounds left. Right, the tank that stood still. The Falcon's going to fire both of its laser weapon into your tank. And then the Shuriken cannons are going to go into the infantry. Um, so the lasers and then the cannons. You roll the ones on the whites. So, freeze all round. So two infantry, which will just be two ups because of the plus one. Safe. And then that's a minus of three, sir. No, no that takes a straight three damage from that one. So what's it down to? Three. So it's a good job you got those extra three for the campaign. Yep. Otherwise that being a dead red. But lucky for me, it's still on the middle bracket. I need to, you know, need to knock another wound off. Is it, is it down to twos? It's one, oh, it's one to two is the yeah. worst one. Don't worry about it. Uh, the Flamer Boy with his Shuriken Cannon. Shuriken Cannon's going to fire into the infantry. That's out in the open. The Flamer, I call it the Flamer, but it's not. It's going to hit the guys on top. All right. Within 12. So that's how many hits from the D -suck, D the Warp Cannon. The other, so five hits from the Warp Cannon. Rerolling the ones on that. Still needing fives. Nope. But five auto hits from the Warp Cannon. Twos. That's five wounds with a minus of four, so it's going to be Six. just basically minus two yeah. because it's plus two for you being in cover. It's minus two, you're going to need five, sir. So. Stop two, three die. Three gone down, which will be a sergeant and two normal boys. Six banshees left firing the uh, shuriken pistols into the infantry that's not in cover. Yep. Three to hit. No wounds. Doing really well with my dice today. Amazing. Right. For two Dire Avengers that didn't fall back into that monstrosity. Yep. Three hits. Needs fives and sixes. Nothing. Damn you. Damn you. Right, so I fired the heavy bolters into that infantry. Did nothing. The, these guys on top are going to open fire now into the Terminators with their standard Star Swarm missile because he's no longer in cover. And then the rocket's going to try and hit the um, Demon Prince. I need to freeze all around. So three wounds with a minus of two against your termies. So fails one. one. So that's straight dead because it's two damage. And then against your... Not as much as I wanted there, but against your Demon Prince, so you're invulnerable save. No. no. Any e rolls? Nah. <laughs> no need. <laughs> so I mean, it were a one six, six chance yeah. you could actually kill him. So I just wanted to knock some wounds off him. Just so some wounds would have been all right. If he deteriorated, I would have done, but yeah. he don't. So a one in six chance of you killing him, it's pointless. So. Right, so the Star Swarm missiles again at the Terminators. Yep. Six shots. And then the Shuriken cannon into your guy. Alright, yep. And that's for Shuriken cannon. Shuriken cannon, of course, can reroll the ones. Well, that's uh, kind of not what I wanted. Maybe I should have had Malgan Rag get out. So one wound against the Termies. Nope. Kills another. Kills another, yep. And then another one wound. So it's one wound on me. Yeah. Demon Prince. And then Malgan Ra. He'll also open fire upon your Demon Prince. 
He's going to fire both of his weapon shots. So eight shots against the Demon Prince. I do need fives to wound you. But have you got ones? Because you're chaos, which I keep forgetting about. So that's a good job. Got three ones. Uh, only two then. So one is minus one and one is minus three. Still four ups. Yeah. No, both saved. Only managed to reduce that down to four wounds. Not a fantastic turn, if I'm completely honest. Uh, you have taken another Terminator off, haven't you? Yeah, two dead. Left. Two dead. Oh yeah, because they started with seven. Right. Uh, charging them. Team wise, Banshees have gone in here. My tank's gone into the tactical squad just to try and neutralise it. Yep. Um, so starting off with, I think I'm going to go with the Banshees. So needing freeze to hit. Why is it all my fancy weapons? Never ever. <laughs> Be fives to one. So, they're minus three, but you're getting a plus one to your saving throw because of it's only one damage. And that's minus three, but you don't get a plus one to that one. All saved. Jane's are. Hits. All wounded, minus three to all of them. Ooh, three gone through. So 3D, the first one. 3D threes. The first one will kill one because you've already got one and one wound. Yep, two more. Second one dead. is two, dead, dead and dead. So she finally manages to lay waste to that unit. And then she jimmies a little bit towards the nearest enemy. There we are. And then that tank. Yep. It's D3 attacks now because he's only on six wounds. So one. Didn't do anything. Have a new fighting back against the tank. Right. So it's going into Craig's turn. They but are got all three. right. Three. Got three. Leadership Minus eight. three. Yeah, so you're all right. So that'll be six. Uh, just doing his morale there. They can't fail because they're on nine. No, because I've lost two. And that's, that's it. it. That's it. Uh, right. So into Craig's turn. Right, so, um, done some shooting already in Psychic Powers, Psychic Shining Gun's gone off, lost a couple of lads and a couple of wounds everywhere, Aaron's just fired his bolt pistol at the Fire Dragons, did nothing, and then I suffered two wounds from bolt pistols into the tank, so he stayed in combat down there, he's cast pre-science on that guy. Not on the tank. Down the tank, that's what I meant to say because it's in camera. Uh, so it means he's going to be hitting on freeze. So he's going to fire his Havocs, one rocket launcher, into each of the vehicles. So which one first, sir? First that one to that. Does misses. It, oh. Are you within six of no. that? No, he's no, not. I'm nowhere near. So that is a miss. So that um, tank is still alive. It's Thousand Suns anyway, so I don't Ah, get yes, that. so you don't get it. So and then against the Warp Hunter. Warp Ooh. Hunter also misses. They must have uh, still bathed in warp energy. They're not hitting. What else have that you got? one then? Yep, what's he doing, sir? So he is going to fire. What can he see? Can't see that because that's in no. way, so. <laughs> Pondering. So the last cannons are going to go into the Falcon. The auto cannons are going to go into the Fire Dragons. How many shots, sir? Three. Three. Needing freeze, and is that room within six? Oh, it doesn't actually it doesn't matter. matter. Freeze on them all. Uh, two's, oh, two's on, on red. Sorry. red. So all wounded. So, this is against the fire dragons with a minus of one. That is the last cannon against the tank with two wounds left. The fire dragons die because they need fours, and the tank suffers d6 wounds. Thanks for six. Still roll it just in case. Very unlikely I'm gonna get. A f there we go. Does the tank explode? Oh, I so wanted it to go <laughs> yeah. up there. That would have been best. But yeah. no, the tank has gone and so have the fire dragons. So a bolt pistol has been fired off. Uh, he's gonna try and shoot Jane Zar if he can, cause you know, he's a coward. Uh, so <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, but there's two different squads here. So Mills is gonna open fire. 
wave is unit. I'm guessing you're splitting five between two different areas. Yeah, I'm going to put three into your one guy yep. and five into your two guys. No problem. So Ready? The red into your yep. red headed dudes. Yep. The three, uh, the blue into your black headed dudes. Yep. Fucking hell, yep. I know which one you mean. The blue's against the one with one left, the red's against the one with. Yes. Yeah. That's, good That's a lot, lot of shooting, that Tex. Good shooting. In your freeze. Good shooting. Right, so You've that is against the five. one on his own. The All of the red ones. Oh no, sorry, two of the red ones failed. So he does actually go down. And then five. Seven. Eight. Yeah, both squads have been decimated by Bolt of Fire. This Bolt of Fire of this infantry, especially the Terminators, has ruined my day. Right, the Terminators, unpainted, unsanctioned blah, Terminators. Uh, four of them can see Jane's art. One of them is going to fire against the, um, the other unit. So his red dice is going to be fought against the Banshees. Yep, the rest against of them James against Jane Jar, because he is now the closest. Four's on the blue, three's on the red. Four's on the blue, three's on the red. Only one Banshee. That's not a lot of hits and wounds on Jane Jar there either. No, it's not. So, Banshee will be in. Mechanicus dice. Ginger shook them all off, and the bench, one of the banshees go down due to the minus two on your bolters. So. That's pretty much it for shooting. We're now going into some charging phases. Go ahead, uh, and we'll bring you into some action. Right, so two combats. We've got the sorcerer going in, we've got the uh, guy over here going in. The sorcerer's actually a little bit closer, he just can't fit the figure. Uh, what with the model syndrome? So. Mills is going to go with the demon first. Now he does get plus one attack because he's got the um, uh, boon of change on him. So he's got how many attacks? Sir? I'm going to do six against Jane Zar. Six against Jane Zar. And two against the. Yeah. Um, two against the Banshees. Banshees. So you need threes due to the minus ones, yeah. and you get to reroll your ones. Oh, look at that. How lucky was that there, sir, you, you swine? <laughs> uh, to be even strength be even is seven, is it not? Two is it again? strength seven? Yes. Yeah, so you need threes on the blue, twos on the red. So one banshee, is it, what minus is it, sir? Minus two, straight two damage. All right. So against the banshee, he's dead. And against Jane Zar. Fail one, she's dead, isn't she? Nope. Got four wounds left, James, though. Oh. Dead mate. Oh, two, four, six. She's gone down. And that does mean that the Banshees then can't fight before the Sorcerer. Ah. So the Sorcerer will go next. Yep. So three attacks with the Stave. Needing In fours. Because of minus one. Banshees still. Still, still to its. Yep. Two wounds, minus one. Two saves. I did, did I take one away? For, no, I didn't. So, because all the ones are actually within inches of the sorcerer, they're just going to attack the sorcerer back. So the rest of the combats have been done. I've managed to shave two wounds off the sorcerer. And then, of course, the uh, other guy has managed to... Your tank gets to attack tank. Yeah, oh yeah, doesn't get to attack back, actually does one attack, because there's only three ones left, doesn't do anything. Right, <laughs> and then attacking the tanks, they didn't do anything. So I've lost a lot of more of the units though. End of that particular turn, I think, don't you, do Demon Princes get the special ability, the Brotherhood? I don't think We'll have so. a look, because if not, it's going to be however many people's within three inch of that. Um, and then I've definitely got number two. So I'll go up two points. No, two is one point. Which you number a, were it? You rolled a one. It's oh, the right, one. yeah. So that's so a you, point. So you get one, I get one, one, and, and I get two. one for that. 
So you go up to 10. So it's just whatever. So. Right, we've just checked. I do actually, he doesn't get a benefit. So I do outnumber him. So I'm going up to nine. So at the moment, it's nine versus 10. That's quite interesting. That is quite interesting. I think what we need to do is just to see how my turn plays out and then take it from there. So the two points is available on four. Which that's what one I'm over on Ironman. Radio. Right, I've done a bit of Jimmy in. Morgan Ra's got out since the rest of his brothers seem to be uh, their suits are now just littered about the place, <laughs> ready for other any surviving people, if there is any surviving people, to get into them. Um, I fired the heavy bolters there, managed to take out two of the guys. I'm now going to open up with the Reapers. So the rest of the Reapers, them, I'm going to fire into those guys. I'm going to fire a, I'm going to fire a plasma missile as well from the X Shark into those. So plasma missiles, D6 shots for free. And everyone else is two shots apiece for Star Swarms. Four. And then... Only rolls. So need to freeze. So that's going to be five with a minus of two and two damage. And then one with a minus one plus one. Should buy him first. Uh, well, it doesn't really matter. I'll apply that one first and then the rest of it just comes up from there. So, yep, so he loses one to the plasma. And then, how many's left? Five. I need fives, mate. All dead. All dead. Any re rolls? Uh. Down with two command points left, that squad's gone. Second squad of Reapers, Star Swarm missiles into those Terminators, and of course the uh, Shuriken Cannon into those. Any ones re roll? Still missed. Needing five and six on them all. Oh no, sorry, threes on them, five and six on them. So, is that them two? Demon Prince saves one, but yep. fails an, another, so he takes a wound. Takes a wound, is down to three. And whatever your Terminator ones were. The three wounds against the Terminator is with minus two. At two damage. Three wounds. Three wounds, mate. Minus two, so fours. Yep. Well, what's we'll you invulnerable? Oh, yeah, well, minus, yeah. Normal yeah, yeah. armor. <laughs> so, so I lose two. Two of them go down. That's the sorcerer you've taken off. Oh, it is. He's the one that's actually stopping you from getting a cover save. Yeah. I don't know if you have the got left. Yeah, I'll, I'll take the saucer. Take the saucer off? <laughs> no problem. Unless you kill any more, I'm still passing the break test. The psychic powers are pretty much no point now. I know what you're saying. Right, um, Malgan Ra opening up off on that demon prince. He re rolls ones. Because we've been six inches himself. Um, needs fives and sixes, and he re rolls ones because you're chaos. Uh, only two wounds, good sir, with a minus of three. So whatever your in one saves are. Stopped one, what damage does it do? Only one. That's just one wound then. Yeah. Only one. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. Right, on to the tanks. Right, Araman next. Warp Hunter is close to you. I'm going to hit you with the Warp Cannon, of course, and the Shuriken Cannon. He has got a free up in one save, but hopefully, should be able to, uh, I'm hoping I can anyway. So, six auto hits. We roll the one. So, one normal and six hits from the cannon. Two to wound and three to wound on that. So one normal armor save, which will be on a two up. And one, two, three, four, five in one save, sir. Two. 
Two. Two invulnerable saves fail. 2d6 damage. Seven. Seven. Manages to take out Araman. That's a warlord. Command point. Yep. I knew you'd spawn it. Okay, I'll spawn. I'll spawn him there so your tank can't sit. <laughs> All right then, sir. All right. If that's that's how you're going to play it then, Mr. Mills. If that's how you're going to play it. D6, automatic, so, uh, minus four. I know. Strength 10. I've paid points for it, though. Yeah, I've paid points for that. <laughs> Yeah, but you've paid no points for that. You've paid a command point. For Did I have to buy Ariman? Yeah, and is is yeah, but you don't come with the points cost of a spawn included. It doesn't say. It it says not uh, extra models not included with. In your reinforcement. Model. Oh. What is it? Something like that, isn't it? Yeah, something like that. Right. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, shuriken cannon and the lances are going to go into the tank, if that's the case. Needs fives on them, sixes on the others. Oh, one hit. Fives and sixes, nothing. So it actually did, very anticlimactic there. Didn't actually do anything. Right, no charging because these three units all fell back and these are too far away. I don't think he's got any morale to take. No, because they'll so... automatically pass. You killed that squad. And number four is the objective we need to get. So yes. park two tanks on it. Um, don't get me wrong. He just needs to destroy one and get this infantry squad all over it. I just need to move them into you base, wait. I do. don't even need to attack you. I just need to move them in base and they outnumber you. You do. Right. Let's see what Mills does. The bolt pistols have fired over there into the Banshees. Some psychic shenanigans has killed the other Falcon. Reduce that down to one wound left. Not much else has really happened apart from a boon of change. These guys are opening fire. They're going to fire into the remaining three Banshees. You freeze. Yep. Got some hits there, sir. Four wounds. Plus two, minus two. Two wounds, which would mean that the X Shark is the only one left. Predator now, needing force to hit. Everything's going to fire into the. Uh, Four shots with the auto cannon. Two with last. Need new fours. Need fours, no re rolls. Pretty good shooting text. Fours on the red. So we've got two. Like two with a minus one. And one with a minus of three, which will be in the Mechanicus dice. All of them have got through. How much damage? That's six. Ah, oh, yeah, it is. And that's one, so you've got right, seven. Hang on. Six. Right, yeah. He's dead, and he doesn't explode. God oh, damn it! I wanted him to blow up. So a shot as well from the Rubik Marines into the Howling Banshee. Didn't do any damage. You've got the two rockets left, sir. I might as well put them into your Dark Reapers. Yep, are you doing cover. frag or are you doing... Um, what straight? save have they normally got? Three up. They've normally got a three up. Yeah. So against your frag, I'm going to have a two up. Against your rockets, I'm going to have a three up. Yeah. I'll do uh, two frags. Two frags in, sir. Four shots. Needing freeze. All hit. Needing freeze again. All wounded. And one down. Which will be on the X shark. So he's taken a wound. Charging. Yep. Is Demon Prince. It's going to charge into the. Into her. <laughs> And, oh look, Can't he's in. Fail. Attacks, needing freeze. Are you rolling the ones though? So what, Dave? I think she's dead. If you get a flurry of ones, I'll be happy. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> so she has gone down. Well, you might be lucky. You've got six saves. Yeah. I am. I've got minus. Minus of two. Minus of two. So you've got six. No, no. Six, but right, hang on. Here's three of them. Oh, look. <laughs> So, <laughs> so doing that, she's gone down. Right. So what's the situation then, sir? Well, now that I've managed to get rid of them. Yep. I get two points. Oh, for that that's one. two points into it. Not that one. So I get one point for that one. Yep. One, one point, point for, for that, that one. And two points for two that. Two points so for that. Jump another four points across the board. Twelve, taking you to fourteen. Yes. I only jump up one point. And I'll be honest. Let's find out whether two point is going to exist. 
is right in the center again which yes i might be able to kill this guy in fact i definitely know i can kill that guy were, shifting but, them is going to be very yeah, difficult oh yeah, yeah, yeah but the thing is i can easily just sit these in this cover and keep claiming that a turn yeah i mean don't get me wrong i can probably that. wipe them out uh but it's it's getting everything else it's it's the fact that you've actually even if i wipe them out you've now got what three points ahead of me and there's a good chance we might have to play this turn on those okay. it's only three points depending of course upon what damage i do depends on who you've got left to score with do, well all of them yeah. can score oh i know all of them can score but it just depends on the amount of damage i do because i've got three four Five, six. I've got seven units. The thing left. is, right, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll see what type of damage I can do. Because if I do a lot of damage, then, yeah, there's a good chance I might be able to take you out. If I don't do a lot of damage, I'm not going to be able to do it. Because I can't really move from this position. No. I've kind of got to stay still. Right, we'll go straight then into the Elder Shooting phase. Right, so first off, these guys are going to fire into the infantry down there. So D6 shots, five for a plasma missile from the X-Shark. And then this lot here is the Star Swarm missiles. So needing freeze. We're rolling ones on the X-Shark. Don't need, didn't get any ones. <laughs> That's a free, I don't know what I'm now. Freeze and four on the Mechanicus dice. Right, so that's two saves plus one minus one. So that's two saves normal. And then that's going to be, which is fine. Lose one. Lose one. And then he's got five more with a minus of two. Lose six altogether. Ooh. So that's hurt that unit, but he's still, well, he's only got one command point. Um, so these guys here, they're going to try and star swarm those lads. And then the shuriken cannon is going to try and hurt this demon prince so against the terminators i can reroll once didn't get any ones which is about right oh i did there we are so i need threes and fives right so against the terminators we've got three wounds with a minus two they're in the open Two. So lost two. So that's not going to be able to force them to take a break test. And then that's a wound against your um, big guy. So she saves. So Malgan Ra, in fact, actually, there's a heavy bolt from here. Malgan Ra, first lot shots into the Demon Prince. Or hit. Fives, re rolling ones because of his hatred. So two normal armour and one with a minus three. So three's on blue, yep. four in red. Save. <laughs> so I'll have to fire his shots again into the same guy. Only one wound this time, sir. Which is not enough to kill him, even if he failed. So even if Mills sits still and does nothing... Well, don't get me wrong, he's got a morale test to do on the guys at the back. Yeah, they don't But them. they're going to be able to claim number four. That's well, going to be able to claim number five. I'll, and he is going to be able to claim number one. I don't even need to shoot, so hold up that test. Them two are dead. Yeah, so them two are gone. Because I needed a three. Yeah. He sits on that objective. So, I, I go up. Basically, at the end of the turn, Mills is going up four points across the board, well, and I'm going up one. My sorcerer's move. Yeah, he's definitely. He's 11. Gonna, it's fine, mate. He's on so the. He'd, he'd go up there. Yep. Yeah. The Demon Prince. Mm. I'm going to try and be cheeky and claim another oh, three as right, well. Okay. But, but even if you didn't, this is what I'm he's saying. Is just move to that. So what I'm saying is, two, yeah. three, four, it's, again. it's end game because even if I did manage to scrape another couple of turns out of it and annihilate his army, he's got too many points for me to be able to come back on. Yeah. So. I'll be honest. That is a handshake game yes, because that, that was were, uh, uh, really good. It was a good game, that. It was. Well, thanks very much for watching that, guys. Uh, the Elder didn't win, but boy, was it good. Um, so please like, sub share, <laughs> like, share, and subscribe to Root Stem to help support the channel. If you want to help me support a little bit more, you can actually donate via a 
uh, PayPal button that I've got over on my website, that's rootstem.co.uk. And of course, if you're liking what you see on the battlefield, majority of the terrain, uh, all of Mills's army, and majority of my army is painted by me. So if you are wanting some decent commission prices, again, go to rootstem.co.uk and I'll see if I can hook you up. Right, thanks very much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.